I'm Colonel Jürgen Pierwert. I'm the director of the European Center for Manual Neutralization Capabilities, or in short, the ECMAN. Each year we do an exercise, two weeks, which is called European Guardian, and actually we are in the final stage of European Guardian at the moment, where trained operators come here and train and further develop their personal capability, giving the nations and organization the capability to deal with the worst case scenarios, which is uh, hosted situations and see when devices where there is a traditional way of dealing with devices not possible because either the explosives could detonate or the agent could de be disseminated and hundreds of thousands of people could be wounded or killed. The Irish Defence Forces has been involved with the ECMAN project since 2018 when it first started with a number of nations and has continued to be a successful participant ever since. Throughout the project we have collaborated with other countries such as Austria, Germany, Czech Republic, Switzerland, Finland, Sweden and Belgium to name a few but particularly in this area through the ECMAN project. Exercise European Guardian is the only multinational manual neutralization exercise specific to Europe. It happens each year in Vienna and it is aimed in order to confirm the skill sets of member states and improve any innovations that have happened within the industry in the previous 12 months. Tasks throughout the two-week exercise involved dealing with persons in crisis, such as you can see the captain on board the icebreaker ship that was held hostage and had to be rendered safe in order to save her life. This is a classic example of a manual neutralization task which accepts a higher level of risk to the operators because the risks associated with the tasks and the threat to life is direct and immediate. And the only way to render such a device safe is with such proven and hardened techniques with highly trained and skilled operators working in tandem with each other. Each manual neutralization team from each member state underwent a number of complex tasks throughout the two weeks. In some instances, such as vehicle-borne IEDs, some of the teams collaborated together in a multinational team in order to render the device safe. Manual neutralization operators do not wear the bomb suit as we typically would in EOD operations because wearing the bomb suit over such long periods of time with such duress on the mental and physical state of the operators would render the operators ineffective over the time of the operation itself. We have trained up a number of operators in a number of key areas to such an extent that we now have an organic capability at home in order to conduct manual neutralization procedures if required for defense of the state. 